Hello and welcome to this week's WCHA Weekend Preview brought to you by Huskies All Access. I'm Alec Osmus. Thanks for tuning in. The Huskies are coming off a bye week, but two weeks ago this place right behind me was filled with red and black and the color green as the Huskies played host to North Dakota. Friday night, North Dakota scored in the first minute of the first two periods, keeping the Huskies off the board for that entire game, taking Friday 3-0. Into Saturday, Johnny Brodzinski picked up his first goal of the season in the first period, and Drew LeBlanc also picked up two goals Saturday night as the Huskies take Saturday 5-2. With that now, taking a look at some standings from around the league, the Denver Pioneers still on top with a 7-1-0 conference record, the Gophers sliding up to 10 points at a 4-2-2 record, and a three-way tie in fourth place, Colorado College, North Dakota, and St. Cloud State Huskies each coming in with eight points, St. Cloud State 4-2-0 in the conference, and this weekend's opponent, the Bulldogs from Duluth, still looking for their first conference win with two points so far this season. The Huskies are back in action this weekend. They'll take it to the road to Amsoil Arena with a weekend series with the Duluth Bulldogs. St. Cloud State 1-1 one one on the road in WCHA play. UMD is 1-2-1 one one at home. The Bulldog offense is led by senior Mike Seidel. Seven goals, five assists, 12 points on the season. Freshman Matt McNeely, most time in front of the net for the Bulldogs with an 8.69 save percentage, 0-4-1 in conference play. The Bulldogs come in as top of the conference in penalty minutes, averaging 20.6 a game, but fourth in the conference on the power play, 12 for 51 on the season. That's 23.5% of the time. For the Huskies, Nick Dowd and Drew LeBlanc coming in, leading the team tied for 14 points. Kalei Casilla, Nick Jensen in the conversation with 8 points. Ryan Farragher expected to start for the Huskies 4-2-0 in the conference with a 9-3-5 save percentage. Some other noteworthy points here this weekend against Duluth. Freshman Kalei Casilla and Ethan Prower leading the team with a plus 8 rating. Also, the St. Cloud State offense as a whole is second in the WCHA, averaging 3.6 goals a game. With Thanksgiving this week, the Huskies practice in St. Cloud the first half of the week. They'll head to Duluth Thursday morning with an afternoon skate session at the deck. A Thanksgiving meal as a team Thursday night. Before the team left, we caught up with a few of the players on what they are thankful for this holiday season. You know, with Thanksgiving coming up, I'm pretty thankful we'll be playing hockey again and being out there with the guys. We get to go to Duluth on Thanksgiving because that's where my grandma's from. I'm thankful for my family and uh, all the friends I've made. Well, my Thanksgiving uh, was a month ago, so you know you guys have different things here than us. So I'm a little more thankful back then, I guess you can say. Uh, I'm happy to be in America because I love playing hockey with all my friends. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, my teammates, and this surface life so we can come out and play every day. And enjoy. Thankful for uh, the team this year. We got a great group of guys this year, so yeah. I'm thankful to get out of Florida for four days. In other St. Cloud State news, the women's hockey team is coming off a tough series with the Bulldogs. This weekend, they'll travel to Madison, Wisconsin for a two-game set with the Badgers. The men's basketball team started their regular season in Collegeville last Friday night with a big 67-48 win over the Johnnies. Now they'll travel to Lakeland, Florida this weekend for two games. Not a bad way to spend Thanksgiving. The women's basketball team had their first home game with Jamestown on Saturday, winning 69-55. Next action for the women's basketball team is next Tuesday the 27th at home with Grandview College. That's a wrap for this week's Huskies All Access. The men's hockey team will be in Duluth this weekend. We'll see you next time.